of New York is charging John Dowell with the crime of criminal negligent homicide for the death of Florence. Um, the crime of criminal negligent homicide is sentenced when someone accidentally causes the death of another person. Dowell does not intend to help from his suicide, but his actions make Florence feel disgrace and fear, and she finally decided to commit suicide. Florence said uh, she wanted to die if Dowell discovered the fact Florence cheated on him by having an affair with Jimmy. <coughs> Therefore, when she was found by um, Bagshaw, who witnessed the scene um, where Florence came out from Jimmy's room, she got wind of being informed to Dowell, who was standing next to Bagshaw. Actually, Dowell said, her face was con contorted with agony before ever her eyes fell upon me or upon him beside me. I dare say Bakshu may have been the determining influence in her suicide. Leona says that she had that flask, apparently of nitrate of amyl, but actually of plastic acid for many years and that she was determined to use it if ever I discovered the nature of her relationship with the fellow Jimmy. And then it is said that uh, what she didn't want me to know was the fact of her first escape with the fellow called Jimmy. Also, um, Dower said, um, I am convinced that the sight of Mr. Bagshaw and the thought that Mr. Bagshaw, for she knew that unpleasant and thought like personality the thought that Mr. Bagshaw would also certainly reveal to me he had caught her coming out of Jimmy's bedroom. Um, on, um, that was the determining influence in her suicide. Moreover, she was ashamed that she cannot hide her affair to live as an honorable and respectable wife uh, in front of Dower. Dower says she wanted to retain my respect for as long as um, she lived with me. Also he said, in a um, matrimonial association, um, one constant factor, a desire to deceive the person with whom one lives as to some weak spot in one's character or in one's career. For it is intolerable to live constantly with one human being who perceives one small meaninglessness. It is really death to do so. That is why so many marriages turn, um, turn out unhappy. In addition to the feeling of the disgrace, she feared to be killed by Dowell for a long time, so she was rushed to commit suicide, suicide when she found out the horrible fact that Florence had an affair. Florence's, Florence's fear began when they were on the ferry. John asked Julius, who was a servant for him to carry the grip that contains the medicine that was imagined as an important medicine for Florence's heart. Accidentally, Julius dropped, dropped, dropped it and then Dower threatened him. That scene implanted the image of Dower on Florence. The book says, on the ferry, it was I filled up on one of his eyes. I threatened to strangle him, and since an unresisting Negro can make a deplorable noise and a deplorable spectacle, and since that was Florence's, Florence's first, ad first adventure in the married, married state, she got a pretty idea of my character. Therefore, she was, af uh, she was afraid that sh I should murder her. According to the Article 125.10 of the Criminal Law, criminal negligence homicide is sentenced to um, Dower because for accidentally Florence encountered Dower and Bagshaw, who took a look at the scene. Florence went out of the room of Jimmy, and she immediately realized that Bagshaw seemed to tell Dower about her affair. Florence was shocked and disgraced by the revelation to Dowell. Also, Florence felt a fear 
and became panicked when she imagined the world was new her affair and became become irritated and attacked. All of these things do not directly come from Dower's actions or words. However, his presence with Bagshu at the hotel, which was not intended, made Florence upset and it apparently dropped to kill herself. This point corresponds to criminal negligence in the article 125.10, criminal negligence homicide. The prosecutor just said that um, the reason why uh, Dowell, Edward, um, Dowell is accused of this homo criminally negligent homicide is because uh, she, Florence, witnessed um, Dowell and Bagshaw talking in the hotel lobby. Uh, and this is not true because um, <clears throat> the determining influence of Florence dying is not that she, she witnessed that um, she witnessed Dowell and Bagshaw talking. So um, it is true that um, when Florence returned to the hotel, she did see Dowell talking with Bagshaw, um, who knew about Florence's affair with Jane. Um, in the book, it does say that um, <coughs> uh, she, she came back to the hotel uh, witnessing them. She looked at Dowell and it said that um, she saw me and opened her lips. And also she saw Dowell and who was talking with me. So, but this, this has nothing to do with this case because Dowell knowing about the affair had no effect on her decision of committing the suicide after she witnessed Edward and Nancy um, under the trees, behind the trees. This is because um, Florence came rushing into the hotel. The evidence, the strongest evidence is that this is um, because Florence came rushing into the hotel before she entered the hotel. So if she killed herself because um, she found out that Dowell knew about the affair, then she should be fine outside the hotel and become panic when she sees Dao inside the lobby. Um, 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 when she sees Dao and Bagshaw inside the lobby. So since she was already in panic in the way from Casino to the hotel, we can conclude that she um, she already made her mind with the committing suicide. And we can find this evidence on page 84 uh, when it said that, um, and then quite, quite suddenly in the bright light of the street, I saw Florence running. She was already running outside of the hotel so there was no way that um, uh, <coughs> Florence decided to commit suicide because he found Dowell and Bagshaw talking inside the hotel. So for the real reason why she, she committed suicide, um, uh, I say that um, Florence committed suicide because she found out about um, Edward and Nancy um, talking love to each other at the casino, um, park near the casino. So um, <clears throat> in this case of criminally negligent homicide, it is very important to know about the relationship of Dowell, Florence, and Edward in the beginning. Um, despite how long Dowell was married to Florence, the most important man in her life was Edward. During her affair, whenever a woman would come to visit the Ashburn house, Florence would make Edward go to her to prove her loyalty. She even required Edward to kiss her at any moment of the day. Also, Florence was even ready to divor diverse with Dowell to go with Edward and settle in California. So, um, as you can see, Florence was very possessive of Edward, thinking that Edward belonged to nobody other than herself. And under understanding this situation, the facts of how Florence died and the reason why she died are very important too. Florence died by committing suicide, and Dow is not involved in this suicide at all. On the night when Edward and Nancy went to the casino, Florence went after them and watched their conversation from behind the trees. When she witnessed Edward confessing love to Nancy, she was very shocked. Um, the only man she believed belonged to her, each to each other with their true hearts, had been cheating on her. This incident can explain the motivation of Florence committing suicide in her room right after this incident. This scene made her face turn pale white and she rushed to the hotel in, to in order to commit suicide in her room. So Dowell is not accused of the crime of criminally negligent homicide because he never did an action with, su with suits definition of criminally negligent homicide. In the statute on Article 125 about homicide, it, it clearly says that a person is guilty of criminally negligent homicide when, uh, with criminal negligence, he causes the death of another person. So um, when considering this, in order for this, in order for someone to be um, accused with this crime, they must be, there, um, there must be some, that person must cause the death of another person with criminal negligence. 
and in this case, Dao did not cause the death of Bo. It is understandable for him to be accused if she if he left like the bottle of the medicine in her room or something. But in this case, Dao was just sitting in the lobby talking to another man. Since he had no effect on Florence's motivation to commit suicide, Dao is not guilty of criminally negligent homicide. Defender says Florence was running into the hotel, grabbing her chest and died. Um, so her su suicide was caused by the close relationship between Nancy and Edward. But Dower is an <coughs> unreliable narrator, so she, uh, he might um, tell a lie not to be blamed as a crime. Um, so um, the of course, the close relationship between Edward and Nancy um, was a part of the causes of the suicide. But Dover might tell a lie when she uh, when he says that Florence was running into the hotel. Perhaps Florence might come uh, came into the hotel without any rush, and then she found Bagshaw and Dover together in the hotel, and she ran into her room and died. We cannot de rely on Dover's saying, so the reason of the Florence suicide is not necessary. Necessary is the relationship between Edward and Nancy. Also, um, um, on page 197, um, it is said that society can uh, only exist if the normal, if the virtuous, and the um, and the slightly decide decide flourish, and if the passionate the headstrong and the to truth who are condemned to suicide and to madness, and Dawa wanted to be as a uh, like um, Edward, um, like a good person, so. Dover wanted to exclude the facts that do not define as a good person. So, so defender said the real cause of the Florence's suicide is a close relationship between Edward and Nancy. But Dover, um, but the fact that Dover is an reliable narrator and uh, um, also. Dowell wanted to be as a good person, so um, the reason of Florence's suicide is not necessarily the relationship between Edward and us. Um, <coughs> the prosecutor just said that the, about the possibility of Dowell, the narrator, lying about the fact that they were running outside the hotel. And if that, if, if he was lying, then it might be true what she's talking about. But um, I, I, but this, she is missing one thing about the fact that Dowell is not a clever person enough to think about a lie such, such as that. Uh, we are all familiar with Dowell's actions of how he is a uh, really um, does, does not care about what's, what um, the people around him are thinking, such as the case in the um, train when the other, other three were having a conversation about him and he did not notice at all. So um, as a dumb person like Dao, uh, there is no possibility of him being able to think such of a clever excuse for him to, uh, for saying that she was running outside the hotel. So considering that, it is more natural to think that he was talking the truth. And um, so and if he was talking about the truth, clearly the reason why he why Florence committed suicide is because she's, she witnessed um, Dowell and Nancy by the hotel. So in conclusion, he is criminally negligent. He is not uh, accused guilty of criminally negligent homicide. Thank you.